welcome back to Ann Makes for my uh, subscribers. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you'll hit the subscribe button below. Uh, so this is the follow-up of a Dollar Tree haul that I did on August the 5th, uh, Saturday. And I wanted to share with you what I consider basics to have stocked up in my collection of supplies and materials for future how-tos, DIYs, um, crafty projects, uh, design teamwork, and personal home decor projects. So stay tuned and I will show you what I hauled. To begin, I want to share with you these rolls of craft decor burlap ribbon that I hauled. These are available in a 2.4 inches of width by 4 feet in length or 6 centimeters wide by 1.2 meters long. These can be used for wrapping around reefs, for wrapping around gifts too, uh, for using just as is so they look like a little haystack. There's many things that you can do with this burlap ribbon. It's essentially burlap that's been cut into ribbon, so uh, it should prevent any fraying. If, if you like did it by yourself with just regular burlap, you would probably get a lot of fraying, a lot of loose ends, so this is just a shortcut for us. I can see using this to make something pretty and also to make something rustic looking. I like to use these square glass vases as candle holders, plant holders, uh, ways to organize and corral pens and pencils and other items around the house. I can also alter these with some etching cream and some vinyl stencil that I can design and cut and create with my Cricut. I have many, many uses for these uh, glass square vases. Uh, next up I wanted to share with you is that I often buy headbands such as these ones to be repurposed or used in alternative ways. This is just an idea for you that it is possible to purchase items at the Dollar Tree that are sold with one intention and that you can repurpose them as a crafting supply. So I will repurpose the gray flower on one project and probably the gray band on another, for example. I will also be using the stretchy silver color braided headband for some trim. And what I liked about this trim is that it has a, a leather feel. If it, it Maybe it is leather, but I didn't really check that. But it is stretchy, and so that will enable me to use this on an odd-shaped object. Let's say I want to put some trim around a bottle or a glass vase. It'll be much easier if this has some stretch in it, and this one does. In the following picture, I'm showing you some more headbands that I bought with the same purpose in mind, to be used as trim. I use a lot of silver in my home decor, and the black trim, well, that is just a go-to. I can use that in so many different ways and projects. Plus, these headbands are great to use as elastics, 
to keep around rolls of fabric to prevent dents to be made in your fabric. And that's just another tip. I wanted to add a few more rolls of this craft decor chalkboard masking tape uh, to my stash because I have used it before and there are multiple ways of using this such as creating your own little labels. You can cut pieces as long as you want and you can use chalk whether it's uh, actual chalk or chalk marker to write and make your own labels. It's also a great masking tape in a decorative fashion. It's kind of like uh, a decorative tape and you can use it big or small. The next item are these luminescence uh, waxy room scent things, the wax melts, and these are the linen scent, which is my favorite. Uh, that will be used throughout my home just because they smell so nice. What can I say? And I just wanted to add those to my stockpile. Next up, we have the chalkboard table signs with little clothespin clips. So these can be used as is, of course, on a table to uh, indicate where a person should sit or to put by a platter of food to identify what food that is. I also think that these can be used in my Christmas village as well as in a fairy garden. There, <laughs> there are so many other uses for these things. And that's the same thing I thought for the chalkboard wood stakes. I do garden, I do have plants. Yes, these are great for using for their attention. And also, well, they can go in pocket letters, they can go in, again, fairy gardens, and they can be used in Christmas decorating for dis decorations that you would hand make. And the seashells, well, they are a great staple to have in your craft supply because you can use these to make home decor projects. Uh, these are great for beach theme projects, summer themes. They're also great to make little ornaments. They are, make, they are used in making jewelry. There are so many things that can be done with shells and they look great in a potted plant as well or just in a vase as is. When I saw these small display easels, I thought these would be perfect to have in my stash uh, because I can use them exactly for what their intention is uh, for place cards to hold up photographs, small paintings, make little displays. Um, and I like to use the silver colored ones throughout my home for different things. I also use these if I go to a show and I need to make a display of uh, samples of my work. Next are the luminescence votive candles in the fresh linen. They're just my absolute favorite scent. I haul this scent in the potpourri and the wax melts and just about everything and these are just uh, going into my stockpile in order to make my other projects that involve candles. I bought several bags of the white sand because the white sand is harder to find at my Dollar Tree usually. It usually comes in different colors, which I also collect, but I per personally prefer the white one in some of my home decor projects. I also think it makes for some great fake snow. I know, that sounds funny, but it, it works. <laughs> so that's why I got uh, a few bags of the white. Next up, are decorative stones. These are the like the white gravelly ones and some pretty beige smooth little stones that will be used and so many projects like oh it's it there's a long list of project ideas in my mind for these and I do use a lot of these in my plants for putting in the bottom of a pot when I'm replanting something. I glue these onto surfaces for decorative purposes. I can use these, of course, in fairy gardens, of course, in the Christmas village. They are great to put in vases. And yeah, I 
there are so many ways of using these and I just like to have a stash of these on hand for when I get a creative idea and that requires stones and gravel. And my collection of stone and gravel would not be complete without a smaller size of white gravel. I like to buy these uh, jars by Dance and Decor. They come in 400 grams. They're a neat way to hold uh, the little white stones, which are smaller than the ones that are sold in the mesh bags. My Dollar Tree has these in a variety of color, and I have bought other colors, but I like to stock up especially on the white ones because it's part of my home decor. Uh, next item are picture frames. There's a variety of picture frames available at Dollar Tree. They come in plastic, wood, and metal. And then this one I have both plastic and metal. I thought the plastic was well made and they are in silver which will go with my decor. They These ones are 5x7, 4x6, and 3.5x5. I will be using some of these as is to display family photos and the others I will keep in my stash for future DIYs. And that's it for my haul of supply stashing of, as you could tell, a lot of neutral colored items that I will be uh, using in future projects. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please subscribe if you are not already part of the group. And I would so appreciate a thumbs up. So please like, please comment, please share. And um, I will see you after the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.